Hi all, welcome to a club promo idea which is the one club players, this is for players that have only played for one club, no loan spells, no nothing, this is where they've been at the, the one club for the entirety of their career and I thought I'd make a bit of a promo idea on this, um, 78 in total um, around the world currently, um, you could make it a two week promo, There's, there is a lot of weaker cards but I've decided to focus on one um, one team for this, so if you can smash links over, we much appreciate folks, sub the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, G is a legend, all links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always, and the emphasis of the promo is celebrate loyalty with these one club players, now you'll notice right away there's no Mark Noble, I'm going to say that right off the bat, he does not feature because he has had loan spells, so that's why I find it funny though, um, the longest serving player is, nine, is 19 seasons, um, there's a few in the 18 season pile, um, some actual not bad cards even at this stage of FIFA but Akinfev is the second, joint second longest, um, well, technically tied actually in some regards, for a longest serving player, um, so Akinfev would probably be up there with like, the highest rated just for boosts, like now I've made some crazy boosts on the cards just to make them really stand out and also just some of the cards. Um, deserve it. Now you'll kind of guess the card type is sort of similar to the signature signings and it's trying to be a darker shade to the team of the week so it's trying to be a bit different um, but this was all prepared even before the signature series I was just trying to um, get time to get all sorted but Akinfev would be the goalie, he makes the nod, Wanku of Angers, he's practically played there for like 15 seasons or something, 15-16 seasons I believe um, so fair play to him um, until I 13, then Hugo Mayo um, f for Celta Vigo, pretty much his entire career been there so far and, and probably will remain there. Schmelzer, um, obviously these days he just slowly depreciated rating wise for Dortmund and 13 seasons there so he gets an odd and could actually be a nice kind of, in his case it's a flashback almost. You could even get him in the flashback potentially, but that would be a nice card. Busquets, always been at Barcelona, 13 seasons there. James Ward Prowse is the only Prem player in the entire system, um, 10 seasons, which was quite interesting. I thought it would be more than one Premier League player, but um, when I went through the entire list, he was, um, that there is that that he is that on, only player that fits more than 10 seasons, that's kind of the criteria for this. Iker Munyain, only time, only club he's been at, and also with some of the boosts, like Ward Prowse is plus 10 because it, you've been there 10 seasons, Munyain kind of, even though he's a 93, I went plus 8, you could go 93 if you wanted, but you try to balance it out um, accordingly. Um, Dynamics, so I tried to be as creative as possible. Muller with the Bundesliga trophy, he's been there practically his entire, he's been there his entire career. And I, didn't, I don't think Thomas Muller will ever leave Bayern, he's been there 13 seasons. Patrick Herman's always been at Borussia Mönch and Gladbach. There's also Tony Jansch, but um, Patrick Herman, 12 seasons there, obviously he's a silver this FIFA. Um, and he had a showdown card, so I kind of went a bit above that just to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, I thought might as well make it his best possible card. James Forrest, kind of same applies. His best card was an 87. Somehow did not get a team of the season at FIFA. He's been there 11 seasons. So I thought make it slightly better. I was trying to look for a Scottish Premiership Trophy 1 actually. And it was kind of the theme I was trying to do for everyone. But some players haven't obviously won maybe as, many, as much as you'd like. And some of the dynamics weren't as actually as impressive as I thought. Which was a bit of a shame. Um, it would have been really nice to have, like, say, um, like Busquets with, like, the one that had the best dynamic with a trophy with him was the Jean Samper trophy. Al Farage, I was trying to find one for him in the Saudi League. Um, cause I've tried balance, cause I've tried to balance it out because you don't want just top five leagues. Like you've got the Russian league, f top tier in France, like n enough leagues in Saudi League, but it's just try to balance out, so it's fair really. 11 players would be the most likely for um, this, as I say you could do two teams and the thing is then if you do two teams the players that would feature some of them are already having special cards um, like uh, Maximilian Arnold, 
um, being quite a notable one actually. But the thing is, you would see between the like cards in general, it would be like weak. If you were to do a two week promo, you'd have to put a lot of weaker cards in team one and a lot of imbalance out that way. It's not as big team heavy for team one. Like what I noticed with this was, and you'll see it here, Gela. Um, of Orlando Pirates, this is the only team he's played for, Otani, who is one of the oldest, um, not just the oldest, one of the oldest, but one of the longest serving on this as well, he's been in Kawashar Wrestle for 18 seasons, Tech Demir of Istanbul, Bajikspir in Turkey, he's been there for forever a day, this would be like a mini release, and Koki as well, um, with the league trophy, could easily make him one of the best cars in the game, if you were to boost him up to a 92 I suppose, depends also how you boost like stats why you try to make them be some of the best cards potentially in the game and with Tech Demir as well you could actually go higher still I just kind of try to fall in line with their base cards like in Otani's case he's a 64 rated we're boosting him up to 87 just infinitely makes him actually very much more usable and that's kind of what the premise of the pro promotion is making undesirable cars suddenly desirable or at least a bit of fun um, nonetheless but as I said there's 68 cars in total um, like players are missing are like um, Cooney of Kaiser Chief, Shenikov, Nacho Fernandez, Roberto Torres, Mario Gaspar, Arnold, Endo, um, Usal, Tamita, um, Andrew Considine, Bardi, um, Yanjun Ling, Lindelan. There's weaker cards, but there's some like it's mostly like silvers and bronzes is what you're working with. So I thought might as well just take the gold, all the golds into this. I try and get as many bronzes and silvers just to show as promos, um, like SBCs and objectives. So player SBC wise, we went Wing Shang Chow. He had a team season last year. So it makes him um, quite straightforward. It just kind of went a little bit better than the card just to help stand out. Go Yohan, um, long serving player in the Korean League for Seoul. Julio Cesar Dominguez, one of the other long serving players. It's actually a healthy boost on him, actually. That's kind of why we did it. Graham Zussi, who's had a few team seasons over the years in FIFA. Some nice cards, actually. Um, if you've ever been a fan of the MLS, so he would certainly become one of the best right backs potentially. He even could get a position change. He could be one of those right back or right mids. You could if if you wanted to do a different player um in position. And Broxham has been at the A League, he won the A League with Melbourne Victory. And it's like putting him from a bronze to a high rated goal just to make him usable. And he's also got a half decent shot on him initially for a bronze centre back. So it's like it's not too shabby, it's his pace is what you're working on, so just boosting up that significantly just makes him infinitely much more usable. So you could do five played SBCs, it gives you one for near enough every day of the week, the promo, and if honest, these aren't going to be expensive cards. Like Zussi maybe because of the MLS if they've with other various objectives and so forth, but it gives attention to these leagues. And then for the objective players, the Silver Star, Lewis Stevenson, you could give it to Considine as well. But Lewis Stevenson won Scottish Cup, he's won the League Cup, and he's been at Hibernian for 16 seasons. I found it brilliant, I could use an excuse to have a Hibs um, featured player in the Fornish. You could it help make the card a lot more usable, boosting him up in that regards. And then the weekly objective, you had to do the longest serving player, which is Dean Lewington. He's been at Wimbledon. Uh, it's, um, MK Dons has been there 19 seasons and yes he's not the most desirable card in the world but it gives attention to the longest serving player in the system um, that's still playing football in the top four leagues if you want to say for like um, England or even recognised really that's within a team in FIFA as it were that's what's quite handy but let me know folks in the comments down below what your thoughts are on a one club promo um, would any of these potential cards interest you it doesn't have to be obviously the ratings and stats and all that are all concepts because we don't know when you could release this you could release it after um, 
Christmas, you could release it after Team of the Year. It could be one of these promos in between Team of the Year and Team of the Season, or it could be something after Team of the Season. It all depends how um, things play out, I suppose. But you've also got to factor in some of these players might retire, transfers, um, all that kind of good stuff. So let me know, folks, in the comments down below. It would be massively appreciated. I say they're just a bit of fun and sometimes these are the concepts people don't always think about covering so I thought I might as well cover this as much as possible have a bit of fun and take it from there so smash the links always folks up to the channel if you know if I'm into it geez, I'll catch you all later